Hey guys, how's it going? Daniel here. Today we're taking a look at the iPhone XS in the silver color. Now, uh, this is of course Apple's latest phone. In the last video, we checked out the XS Max. This is just the regular XS without the larger screen, but exactly the same phone, slightly less battery life. But uh, let's go ahead and open this guy up. It retails for a thousand dollars and um, yeah, it's a lot of money. And it comes with uh, 64 gigabytes of storage for that one. And uh, you add 100 more, you get 256, 100 more, you get like 500 or something. So they're definitely doing the thing, hoping that you spend $100 extra to get the 256 because 64 gigabytes nowadays, while it's still a good amount, it's just not enough for a lot of people. But here, first off, of course, we have the phone. The box itself is nothing special. We got this earth wallpaper on it, which is trying to hide the notch. And I went over that in the last video. Not a huge fan of that, no point in doing that. And uh, kind of a weird thing to see Apple do instead of just, you know, admitting they have a notch and just making it obvious. But I guess, you know, a lot of people will think it, it looks newer and more special than last year's version. Even though it's roughly kind of the same phone with better specs, better camera. I mean, it has some better upgrades and everything. It's just, you know, an S version. So, I mean, there's no point in upgrading from last year's model to this model. But let's go ahead and remove the film here. They still call this the silver color. And uh, it makes sense because it's the exact same color as last year. With the 10R, they did actually announce a white version and it has that glass back and everything, but uh, the back is completely white. So as I mentioned in last year's comparison video, this back here isn't white. It's definitely off white. You can see the difference between white and that off cloudy white, which I actually, even though I used the 10 last year for a long time, I actually ended up hating how cloudy it was and just the color, I'm not a huge fan of it anymore. So this year, if I do end up keeping one of the R's or the the 10 S's, I would definitely go with the space gray, just because after seeing that they can make a really nice white color with the 10 R, I just cannot enjoy this cloudy white. And uh, of course, that's just my opinion. You might love it and that's what's amazing about everyone, you know? We all have different opinions. And here we do have the quick start guide and Apple stickers as always, nothing special. And uh, let's go ahead and actually boot this guy up. As far as uh, specs go and stuff like that, we do have pretty much the exact same thing as last year's. Of course, it's an S version, so you know you get a better camera, you get some better battery life, which compared to last year's 10, they're saying you get 30 minutes more, which I mean, at the end of the day, I guess 30 minutes is nice, but not very significant enough if you have the 10. We have the ear pods, we have lightning to USB, and a wall adapter right there. As I mentioned in the previous video, this is capable of doing quick charging. In 30 minutes, you're supposed to get like 50% of the battery. Unfortunately, Apple doesn't include the correct adapter or wall adapter, so you do have to purchase that separately. I think that's insane given you know, the fact we're in 2018 and this phone's $1,000. This is also capable of wireless charging, so that's also something to uh, keep in mind. Now, if you see any of my other unboxings this year, they are gonna have you know similar information in it because I mean I can't really change all that much information from video to video when it's very, uh, you know, a very similar video considering it's just unboxing a phone. But um, oops, of course this has Face ID and it has all the usual things you've come to expect from the past couple of years and iOS 12 and all that. All right, so here we go. I've completely set up the iPhone here. We're in iOS 12 and everything. You can see the wallpaper that comes set up with the silver phone here. I thought we'd try it out with a, with a case here just to see how it looks and uh, just to show you guys in case you you know haven't seen this phone previously with a case. And uh, yeah, you can see it right there. I thought this case was really nice. The folks in Incipio sent a bunch of cases. I just kind of chose one here to uh, show you guys that I liked. But uh, I thought the white looks nice with this like orange hues around there and everything. And uh, yeah, I mean, these phones match very nicely with cases because you can really color match this. You can see here that we can still see the silver rim around the camera right there. You can still see some of the silver through the bottom. And as far as physical changes that I didn't mention in the Max video, you actually have a new antenna line right here, which uh, they're saying is believed to be something with the gigabyte capability for Wi-Fi and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, we also don't have, we used to have like six here and six here as well, just so that it would match, but no more since they added that antenna line, they got rid of three of them or three of these little holes right here. And uh, yeah, there's no other differences here. You still have stainless steel border around the rim, which uh, scratches up very easily compared to the aluminum on the 10R. 
I initially wanted the 10R, but then when I found out that the display was, you know, LCD and they were calling it liquid crystal and everything like that, I thought that was silly, especially considering they're charging $800 for it still. So, uh, I mean, that's definitely a better priced phone and you're still getting a great device. It's just that this one, you know, has quite a bit better features than the other one, even though it's kind of the same thing. But yeah, we do have wireless charging, quick charging. As I mentioned, it doesn't come with the little block that you would need to connect to the wall for that to happen. If you do buy the correct thing, you could get 50% in just 30 minutes. And uh, yeah, there's not much to go over just because I kind of went over everything last year. It's nearly the exact same thing because we have the same OS and everything. And the big change was last year where we didn't have the home button. But you can see here, we of course still have the notch and we have all these nice multi-touch gestures or just gestures in general to go around the OS which makes it very easy. It's really fluid and kind of the best OS out there for just single-handed use, which I think that's why it makes this phone perfect or at least the size perfect. I believe the borders around the display are a little bit smaller than last year's. I'm gonna to have to get my hands on a 10 again to do a comparison video, but I definitely think they are because it does look nicer and slimmer and everything. So it does look good. Of course, if you have the 10, do not upgrade to this. It's not worth it. and. Uh, unless you could sell that one for a really well, I highly don't recommend doing it. And in general, I think just the 10R is a great upgrade if you're upgrading from any previous iPhone. I think this is just a splurge. If you, it's one of those things where if you have the money and you like Apple that much, I'm, you might as well you know do it just because it is better than the 10R, technically speaking, uh, maybe not financially speaking, but a lot of things aren't. And uh, yeah, you can see it there. It looks really nice. That is the silver color. You can see the smudges there a little bit on the Apple logo and everything. You of course still have the dual camera, but everything is improved, of course. It's not the exact same phone as last year. All the internals and everything, everything is faster, quicker to open. Whether you notice that or not is very debatable at this point. Phone tech hasn't changed that much in the past couple of years. So even a phone from two years ago is gonna perform wonderfully next to this, even though it's two years old and probably quite a bit cheaper than this one. But uh yeah, guys, I've gone over iOS 12 in another video, so I'm not going over that. If you have any specific questions, I'm always here to help. And uh, you can reach out to me at rmartdnl on Twitter. I'm kind of losing my voice here now. But uh, yeah, you can reach out to me there and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Or you can also comment down below in the comments. And uh, yeah, just let me know what you guys think. How do you like the new colors? What do you think about Apple not including the adapter for the, your headphones this year. I forgot to totally mention that in this video, so excuse me for that. It doesn't come with a headphone adapter anymore, which uh, I mentioned in the XS Max video, and I just spoke about that a little bit. I kind of ranted about it, but uh, yeah, here you have it. Apple's new devices, 10s, 10s Max, just so you can see them there, especially the size difference. I mean, it's it's quite a bit different, and it is much harder to hold when you're actually navigating just because of this taller screen makes it harder to get to the top of the phone and reach something if you really needed to reach it. So it's definitely for people with larger hands. And I think this is the perfect size right here. Of course, if you're looking for a little bit more budget friendly, <laughs> I mean, budget friendly, loosely speaking, because it's not budget friendly at all, but the 10R is definitely more of a bang for your buck type of phone. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.